Welcome back everyone. A little bit of an update on the market, how they've been performing, because of course, you don't need me to tell you this, but uh, well, the markets have been crashing. And first of all, let's just cover why this is happening. And then I'll go give you some overviews on some charts on some markets and crypto and my thoughts and things like that. Uh, give the channel a like guys, give me a follow. Let's see this channel grow. I really do want this channel to grow. Um, and I wanna give you the best analysis that you can get on YouTube. And I really believe I can do that. So help me out, give it a like, give it a subscribe. I cover altcoins, economy, shares, all the bunch of it. And but mainly crypto because that's really where I believe the gains are at. So why is the market crashing? The market is actually crashing because of Warren Buffett. Uh, Warren Buffett has basically sold a large chunk of his Apple shares and this is causing a ripple effect. And I knew this was gonna happen so I exited a lot of my positions uh, that were risky and I've shorted the market and already made some gains. That's not to you know say how good I am or anything like that. It's just to show you the power that Warren Buffett does have. So Warren Buffett has decided to sell his Apple shares because Apple has not grown much at all in the last two years in terms of profits. And Warren Buffett's strategy is basically if your company's not growing or kind of, you know, is slowing down, he doesn't like that. That's his investment strategy. And so he basically sells the shares and 55% of it is a large chunk. That's a huge, huge, huge chunk that needs to be absorbed by other people. And most likely they're not gonna be able to absorb that. And so you get a lot of red days, high selling days, basically pushing down the market. Now, you're probably saying, well, how does this relate to all the other markets? It pretty much is called the, bar, the, the Warren Buffett effect, where basically people will just do what he's doing. So if he's sold up, he believes that the economy's not doing well and there's not much things that, there's not much value out there in the market. Everyone will just copy him. And he's a very well-respected, well-regarded investor that people will do exactly what he's doing blindly, blindly. So if he's buying, other people will buy. If he's sell, other people will sell. And everyone else knows this about each other. And so that further compounds the issue. And so that's why you're seeing a big sell off in the market. It's nothing about crypto specifically. It's nothing about the economy of the wars, although these things do play a bit of a narrative. It's more the fact that when one person, Warren Buffett, does sell a large chunk of his position in one, two, or the third biggest company in the world, whatever Apple is now at the moment in market cap, people will pay attention and people do sell. And so that's what happens, unfortunately. So let's go over some charts now to show you uh, what we're looking at macro, and then let's bring it back into crypto. So this is the S&P 500, the index, and you can see, again, some high volume selling days. There's a volatile coming into the market. Now the market is still overall healthy guys. I can't stress this enough. Okay. Your previous all time high before this cycle was November or January, 2022, right? So it was your previous all time high. And we went all the way up, blew past it by several percentage points. So went up by, you know, about 18% from the previous all time high. It's natural guys to get corrections in an overall bull market. Now, I do say there's a bull market because everyone's wages have gone up, inflation's coming down and there is interest rate cuts coming. Now, everyone's pricing this in, in, of course, but the point I'm trying to make is that it's hard to see what's actually flawed about the economy, okay? The only thing that's flawed at the moment is the unemployment rate that is concerning, and that's going to force the Fed to look at the, the interest rate as a lever to try to help the unemployment rate if it gets out of control. And so other than that, it's doing pretty well. Now, could that be invalid? 100%. Okay, next week, tomorrow, one month from now, we, we could have something like this, where we basically get a, you know, a bit of an upturn and then a sharp down hit, and we can... That, that can happen, okay? But probabilistically, it's looking like it's just gonna be a rundown until we get some signs of support. Now, again, this is the S&P 500. This is your, your first round of support and your second one, okay? We don't want it breaking this one here. That's really bad. And so otherwise, we're looking okay, okay? If you have a look at the American dollar, even that's going down because of the interest rate cuts that's expected to come. This should not influence you as a long-term investor. Short-term, yes. Long-term, no. And so if we have a look at the crypto markets now, let's bring it back. So who? everyone's a loser, but what are some of the things you're looking for? We'll start off with ETH because ETH had a sharp back. So you can see here, you know, yesterday we had a 7.5% close and today down 14%. The way the market closes today, so in another 18 hours, uh, is gonna tell a lot about this market. So if we close basically on the bottom here somewhere, then that's an issue. If we close at the top, it's gonna to be a lot of volume. And look how much volume in the market literally just for the day, okay? So we've got another 18 hours. This volume buy is gonna be huge. It's gonna tell us a lot. So again, closes high on the candle, good. Closes low on the candle, bad. And this is gonna tell us a lot about the strength of the market. If it closes low, you're gonna go lower, okay? You're gonna start going from 2,100, anywhere between 2,100 to 1,500, basically anywhere here, if we get a bad 
player cloak. This is the region we'll be playing. If we get a good cloak, so somewhere in the green, this will be the region that we're playing. If we get an incredibly good close, and so unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. You have to, I'll, I'll do another video tomorrow, but this is basically what you're looking at. You were looking at the close. That's E. If you look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is basically doing something similar. Now, again, it's Bitcoin, so it's not going to have the same volatility that ETH will, but still similar where you're getting a sharp pull down. Now, to me personally, I don't like this Bitcoin chart much at all because this is your churn phase. This is your churn just broken it, okay? Which means you're most likely going down. And I really do think a 44K is in the realm of possibility because now the market's revealed itself. Your churn period has been cut on high volume down. The only way this is invalid, again, is if you get a very good high close and then you're playing in this region. But most likely we'll be playing in quite well in this region. Most likely this will play. If it breaks past 44K, this region. Breaks 38K, this region. So unfortunately, uh, that's just the space we're in now. This is a short market. You know, this is what can happen. Just out of nowhere tomorrow, there is something happens in a war or something like that, where it just cause the market uh, to crash. I make a point every time I make a video that there is a, a room for error where basically, or, or, or error or, or unpredictability where just something can happen, okay? And in this instance, we had our uh, Mr. Warren Buffett selling a large chunk indicating that he's not happy with uh, Apple and he loves Apple, okay? And so what this is basically saying is that AI is not producing enough gains, not doing enough with the bubbles basically, um, essentially with Nvidia. And this is bleeding into all markets, including crypto. Now, I'm gonna show you just a few more charts and then we'll start looking at some shorts uh, potentially and what I looked for as well. And so Solana, I talked about this crypto a lot. This crypto is just breaking its major 50% at 130. This is a major 50% guys. So if we get a close below 130, this thing's gone down. If this, if we get a close above, it's holding its ground, but I still do inevitably think that this thing's gonna just come down. It just, it's hard to imagine Solana doing anything good, but this is another crypto that I would not be dollar cost averaging in simply because um, it, it, it's done very well. It, like guys, it's really done well. It's went all the way down from nine to you know, the high of 200. It's done well. The problem is, is that do you believe it's going to do that? All right. Do you believe that we're going to go here and then it's going to go here again? If you do, maybe you want to get some. But for me, I am, you know, one thing I have learned being in crypto for a while now, a couple of years now, um, you really want to reduce your risk. If you just reduce your risk, you will get amazing results. So it's very easy to make 400%, but it's very easy to lose 400%. And so you're much more better making 200% reliably and not losing that, you know, just losing 10, 20%. You know, that that's generally what I've learned. And so you really want to get good quality ones. But Solana right now is a good quality one, uh, but it's down 14%. And like I said, I do expect it to, to continue to go down. This does double up as a short as well, should we get a close below 130. But again, pay attention to the candle, how it closes. You basically want to see how this candle closes. If this candle closes low, you're going down lower. If you get close around 130 or just above 130, it's going to hold its ground for at least a couple more days. Uh, but like I said, I do anticipate this thing to, to continue to go down. The other one that I'm looking at to short uh, that I actually have already made some money on is Render. I did a video on Render um, talking about how how, you know, if you believe uh, the AI is going to do well, then, you know, you probably want to have it this one in your crypto. Like I said, we markets revealed itself, but bubbles, bubbles burst. So now this turns into a short. Um, and so there's your, there's your mark when you're short. So that's, that's exactly what I did. I saw this candle, this green one, that's an up thrust on a downtrend, good volume, meaning the market tried to push up and then you get dumped on. And that's exactly what a juicy short right there. 17% in one day, 8% in the other. And this thing will bleed quite heavily. I really see this thing going down to a dollar. I just think that all the excitement, all the fun of, of this crypto is basically been squeezed out and so that's your price target for an all-time low well, not an all-time low but a, a heavy um round of uh short and then if there's any other crypto uh that i'll be looking at injective this one was very good for a long time when this broke off at april 12th that was me exiting my position and that's when you'd be exiting your position too so again there's your churn market reveals itself that it's, that it's gone down exit and you have to get out it would have been a pretty good short too um but that's it guys you're really looking for cryptos that are doing bad well one piece of advice if you've stuck around this long is just be careful of cryptos going down too low thinking oh it's a good value uh, there are plenty of cryptos that just don't do well and just never recover. And so you really want to be careful of, of cryptos that, that do that. You know, cryptos that go down, they're going down for a risk because there's no support behind. And you really want to be careful because not all cryptos from the grave. There are plenty of cryptos that never did any. You know, if you look at say, if you look at say Ape, ApeCoin did quite, you know, poorly. Okay. So there it is. October 23 went from a dollar to two to 270, which sounds pretty good, but look how quick it did it and how, how on top of it you would have had to be. You would have had from October till about March, but it had basically six months almost. And then just pulled out and now it's already broken past that dollar and now you're seeing 50 cents you know and if you zoom out this is a huge downtrend huge look at that buy the dip 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 so be careful when other people on youtube or your friends or anyone tells you and you look how cheap it is look how cheap it's only 10 cents to be total like just be very careful cheap today cheap tomorrow cheap for a reason all right that's really your method axel another one that did really well went all the way down for 30 to two dollars 30. look how quick it runs up and how quick it runs down down again brett is another one okay there's another one to short okay look how high it went there's your run up and comes crashing down and so again when they're down and they're cheap just be careful because they can keep going down so that's what's going to happen brett most likely probably get a pullback here normally at an all-time low you go back and leave that 
and that's it and that's what happens with these things so it's really good to learn to short and long uh, crypto but other than that guys uh, stay safe out there be very careful not to get yourself into too many bad uh, decisions out there be patient um i'll do another video tomorrow talking about how this closes because it's too it's too hard for me to call whether or not you know this is a strong close or not i need to see the close of btc e and usdt as a as a, as a as a market cap to see if there was a sign of strength or not but uh there's a, so much volume in this market that is this, this close will tell us a lot about the future of the market but until then everyone stay safe again and i will catch you on the video